Hello everybody, this is part 2 of modeling a generic iron. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to project the styling detail onto the main body. Okay, I'm going to cut the model into one half so that I can uh, speed up the modeling process by only working on one side. Explode the curve. Remove the unnecessary portion. Explode the main body. I'm going to create a duplicated edge for the side profile. This is to facilitate the creation of an edge for the lower portion detail. Okay, now I'm going to do a split to remove the existing lower portion of the body. Okay, I'm creating a dummy surface in the front to aid in the matching of the lower body to the adjacent half on the other side. Let's remove the tiny bit over here. Okay, now we can continue to build the surface using the uh, surface from network of curves. Okay, at the D region, we have to set to tangency so that when we mirror the lower surface to the other side, the front tip will be matched tangentially smooth. Let's mirror the surfaces onto the other side. Let's do a join to see whether we are able to get fully solidified closed poly surface. Yes, we are able to get a solid. Let's hide the unnecessary elements so that we can model better. What I'm going to do now is to create the back portion of the iron. As the profile curve is too short, I'm going to do an extension using the gumball. Extruding using the gumball extrude function. This surface will be used to, to cut away the back portion. 
through Boolean split. You're going to do the same for the lower portion. Another Boolean split. Hmm. Now let's do some rounding to the edge at the back. Let's do the same for the other side. Okay, now I will start to create the, the heating plate for the iron. We will make use of this uh, lower portion as the basis for the creation of the hot plate. Let's give it a thickness of 4 mm. Okay, I'm going to click explode to remove away the unnecessary surfaces in order to create new uh, nicely blended ones. Okay, I think I'll set the continuity to tangency. Let's mirror the other half. As you can see, there's a gap over here. We need to close it up using the match surface command. And remember to set to average surface continue to tangency. To ensure that there are no gaps, we have to do a match at the back as well. And remove the top and bottom surfaces and recreating them using new commands. Let's join them into a solid. I think we are almost done now. Let's just do some surface analysis to see the quality of the surface. Okay, I'm coming to the end of part 2, there will be a part 3.
Okay, see you around. Bye.